Welcome to Sir Betterment, where we bring you financial, motivating, and betterment knowledge. In this video, we'll talk about Japan's futuristic levitating bullet trains. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you want to get somewhere in Japan fast, the bullet train has you covered. More than 10 billion people have been transported at speeds of up to 320 kilometers per hour on this engineering marvel constructed after World War II, contributing to the development of the world's third biggest economy. But Japan isn't satisfied with just any bullet train. It is now constructing the world's fastest passenger train which will go twice as fast as existing bullet trains and reduce travel times by eliminating a very crucial component, wheels. Levitating trains sound futuristic, but they may come sooner than you think. These modern trains will float only 10 centimeters above the ground, using magnetic levitation to avoid the drag from touching the tracks. But first, what is the Cho Shinkansen project? The construction of the Cho Shinkansen didn't start yesterday. Japan Airlines and Japanese National Railways supported the original concept, and later, Central Japan Railway Corporation oversaw the project. The line's first stamp of government approval came in May 2011, and construction began in 2014. The first planned link is between Shinigawa's business district in Tokyo and Nagoya's industrial area. Using maglev technology, the train will be able to complete the 286 kilometers or 178 miles in only 40 minutes. As expected, the work on this section has shown the technical and construction challenges inherent to the project, especially considering that about 90% of the whole route will be in tunnels or underground. As it turns out, a prototype inspired this groundbreaking piece of infrastructure Japan National Railways was so set on developing high-speed rail that in 1964, they started experimenting with maglev technology. An 18.4-kilometer test track was built in Yamanashi Prefecture after the first Tokaido Shinkansen opened so that engineers could experiment with the natural levitation technology that made it possible for trains to travel at speeds of more than 500 kilometers per hour. In 2013, the planned route of the Cho Shinkansen was given an additional 25 kilometers of track. Along that same stretch, experiments with the speed of the new train were successfully carried out, beating the world record for speed on manned trains. Nevertheless, the new line has been met with strong criticisms due to environmental concerns, delays, rising construction costs, and other issues. The project is almost finished and the world is waiting to see whether it can hover beyond its hurdles and make a quantum leap for transportation or if it will prove that it is a step too far. Now that we know what the Cho Shinkansen project is, let's find out the plans and specifications for this project. Plans and specifications. The first phase involves constructing a 285.6 km superconductive maglev line, as mentioned there will be 256.6 kilometers of underground passages, 23.6 kilometers of elevated viaducts, 11.3 kilometers of bridges, and 4.1 kilometers off track. The route will have a maximum slope of 40%, a minimum curve radius of 1,000 meters, and a distance of more than 5.8 meters between the centers of the tracks. The route will accommodate a top speed of 505 km per hour. In the first stage, six stations will be built, two in Shinagawa, one in Nagoya, and one each in Kanagawa, Yamanashi, Nagano, and Gifu. Moreover, a train depot will be integrated into Kanagawa and Gifu prefectures. Now we're done with the plans and specifications, let's find out the construction progress and expectations about this massive project. Construction Progress and Expectations Although significant progress has been achieved, 
most of the Cho Shinkansen project is still in its first stages of construction. Construction of the Shinigawa Maglev Station, which will include four tracks and two platforms, has already begun. Since it is being constructed underneath the current Shinkansen Station, it is expected to take around 10 years to complete. In addition, work has begun on some of the large tunnels that the line would require, such as 25-kilometer tunnel under the southern Japanese Alps that, once completed, will be the deepest tunnel in Japan. The Yamanashi and Shizuka prefectures have also revealed plans for a 7-kilometer tunnel. It is anticipated that both tunnels will be finished by the year 2025. The Tokyo-Nagoya stretch of the Maglev line is projected to open in 2027, with commercial service beginning in the same year. With the help of the additional funds, the extension from Nagoya to Osaka is now expected to open in 2037. Unfortunately, a massive and advanced project like this will pose some issues, just like any other mega-projects around the world. Issues this project has raised many environmental concerns, especially in Shizuka Prefecture, where tunneling threatens the basin of the Oi River, a major water source for the region. While environmental studies have determined that the risk of damaging the basin is low, local governments have questioned these reports for being, in their words, insufficient and hasty. In fact, Shizuka's sitting governor opposed the train throughout his campaign and won the June 2021 election when Cho Shinkansen was a major topic. I know you're all wondering, what's the price tag for constructing the first levitating train? Hold your horses, because we're about to find out. Cost The project cost has risen from $13.7 billion to $64 billion due to the controversy surrounding it and the unanticipated obstacles in the construction of the new stations. Several Japanese are beginning to wonder if the new line is truly worth the steep price tag. There are indeed some downsides to Japan's maglev. When finished, they will be more expensive to operate than standard high-speed trains due to their higher energy requirements. Though you could argue that they'd enable greater economic growth. Also, they won't be able to hold as many passengers within their smaller carriages and won't be able to travel as frequently. The Tokyo-Osaka route is serviced by traditional bullet trains approximately every three minutes. Due to the longer switching times required for maglev tracks, maglev trains can only run once every 10 minutes. In the past, Japanese rail firms have recouped substantial costs by marketing their innovations in other countries. After introducing the first bullet train in 1964, however, China has emerged as a major new contender. It's now the king of high-speed rail, and the country is home to two-thirds of the world's entire high-speed network. Maglev trains don't run on any of China's intercity lines, but the country is working on its own version of the technology. In July 2021, it conducted tests on a maglev train that achieved speeds of 600 km per hour, coming close to the Japanese record. Theoretically, the train could make the trip from Beijing to Shanghai in three and a half hours, which is significantly less time than the four and a half hours it takes by plane. The rest of the developed world is still playing catch-up when it comes to conventional high-speed rail. So China isn't in any rush to buy Japan's technology. So why is Japan so intent on building this maglev line? And why did the government grant JR Central a loan to finish it 10 years ahead of schedule? Suppose the Cho Shinkansen is built and used as intended, it will connect the area between Tokyo and Osaka in a significant way, making the distance between the country's two major cities manageable for commuters. It's a prize that's become more and more desirable in different parts of the world. Megacities or megalopolises are systematically being made of China's Pearl River Delta and Jingjinji region through strategically placed infrastructure. While less formal, the lines between cities in the northeastern United States from Washington, D.C. to Boston are blurred. The same holds true across the rest of Western Europe. 
bringing together such large urban areas has the potential to produce economic powerhouses on a scale we've never seen before. More than 50 years ago, when work began on the bullet train, it was met with widespread criticism around the globe. But in the end, it helped Japan develop, bringing together previously isolated areas and spreading prosperity throughout the nation. In the decade that followed its opening, Japan went from an economy that was just 10% the size of the US to the world's second largest. Only time will tell if this innovation can push the country to even greater achievements. So what do you think? Will Cho Shinkansen become another innovation that will leave a mark on history? Or will it be a billion dollar waste of money? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Also, click the subscribe button and notification bell for more videos like this. See you at the next one.